Wait till you see all of this. Valentine's Day about a week away. And if you're planning to make a romantic meal for your sweetie, we have a great suggestion for you. Chef Evandro Cagnato from Texas Day Brazil joins us live in studio this morning with some ideas. See if I can get this right. The dish we're making is Brazilian feijoada. That's it. Did I say it right? Yes, oh, feijoada. Nice. Oh, okay, good. Well, look at all this. Talk about this meat, first of all. Is this going into our dish? Uh, no. This is what we this serve at Texas Brazil. Good. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> we have to show that it is so nice. Oh my goodness! We have filet mignon wrapped in bacon. Oh, that looks fantastic. We have lamb chops. Uh huh. You see on that with uh, mint and, and salt. And do you only. walk around and, and and everybody gets to choose what yes, they want? Yes, we have the no. It's an uh, endless service. You can sample everything for a fixed price. Yeah. Yeah, we have this is the most popular cut we have Look there. Look at that! What is that? Picanha comes from the top sirloin. That's oh, the most. Fantastic! The That's a lot of meat. Yes, <laughs> and okay. the flank steak and... Now, what we're making today, though, okay, the feijoada today is the feijoada is, feijoada beans, is right? the Brazilian national dish. Okay. Black beans, feijoada, and yes. rice that we're going to find every day Love in every that. house in, in Brazil. So we're going to show the first thing that we're going to do, black beans. One pound and a half of black beans. You okay. soak in water mm -hmm. for a couple of hours overnight. This is when, they're the, when they are the raw... Raw black beans, black dry beans. black you're beans. You're making the real thing. Yes. Okay. And you don't change the water. You leave the same, uh, same water. Okay. Otherwise, you're going to lose a lot of color. Okay. Now, here... Here what we're gonna have that uh, is uh, meat, three parts, uh, equal parts. If you have one pound and a half or two pounds, you must have the same amount of meat okay. combined. Okay. Here we have beef, cut in cubes. That is looking good. Sausage, uh -huh. we cut in smaller pieces. Okay. And smoked bacon. Oh, that's smoked so bacon. Oh, that's here. gonna give great flavor to those beans. Absolutely. God, we're gonna complement each other so well. Now we put everything in a pot and you leave there into sizzling, nice brown. You mm -hmm. see that? Oh, that oh that smells so good. It smells so good. Mm. Mm. Okay, you Smell can't uh, make any short. You have to wait until it's very, very brown, seasonally nice. Is there anything in there, oil? No. Nope. It, it has its, it's own the fat in there. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Now you're going to add the... With the water? Everything. Oh, so you leave that water in. Look at those beans going in there, and that's going to give all that flavor. Yes. Huh. Here, you're going to leave now, you know, you can't, one important uh, tip here, you cannot boil. It has to be simmering okay. for about 45 minutes, Don't one hour. That long, huh? And also, you're going to add here some garlic. Oh, boy, yeah. Okay, all right, smash it. Wonderful. Okay. You just add it, you did smash it. Yes. So you just... Well, you, you don't worry you because it's going to be here. Take a big hammer, you, you smash it. Uh, this is kind of, you have to be careful. Can you guys see this? Wait a minute. Well, oh, see, oh, I see. That's it. You just took the side of the knife and yes. pressed down on it. But Does be that careful when doing this. Yeah. Or maybe don't do it with that big knife, <laughs> yes. at least for me. Okay. And then so you, garlic. And so that just releases the flavor when Absol you smash yes. it. Okay. Uh, bay leaves. Mm -hmm. Okay, we had some bay leaves there. And we have in Brazil, we call it pimenta malagueta. It's a chili, pimenta, like, very spicy it. chili. Say it again, I like the way Pimenta it. malagueta. Okay. A small chili, very, very hot. That you can put as much as you want. Okay. And you leave it there. So you're going to leave that for, as I say, for one hour okay. until the beans are very soft and the sauce is very thick. At the end, we're going to have this, gonna, uh, the way you're going to look at the Over end. Over here? Yes. To see the sausage. It thickens up. Piece of meat, peaks. Okay, now how do you serve it? What do you, how do Black you plate beans, it? Black uh beans, -huh. always with rice. In Brazil, we use colored greens, and oh, uh, that's a very nice combination. In a bowl? A plate. Uh, on a plate? Yeah. The base because of the plate is going to be the uh, rice. You mm. put the uh, black beans on top. That's got everything okay. in it. Mm -hmm. And before serving, it's always good. I love to put some uh, parsley. Add that green to it. Yep. That looks good. And this is a good dish because you also can uh, freeze it for a couple of weeks yeah, if you want. Break you can it out make later. a bigger batch and live that for looks later. so good. Thank you, Evandro. My pleasure being here. Yeah, I can't wait to try it. Can we taste it? Sure. Okay, we'll taste it in plates. a few minutes. I'll let you plate it up and then I'll take it over and share Wonderful. it with my coworkers. Thanks so Thank much. Thank you. And if you would like this recipe that smells so good and I'm about to dive into, you can log on to our website at kwgn.com slash recipes. We'll give it to you. Let's head over to Angie now. I know you're going to like this one, Angie. It smells really good. All right, Matt, it will be a little windy.